All right, uh, we're getting some breaking news. This is with regards to the uh, Spygate uh, scandal. Let's give you the latest that is coming in. The crime branch has uncovered yet another case of crucial official documents being stolen from the Petroleum Ministry. That is what we understand. This group too is headed by a peon in the ministry and a person has been identified as Lokesh. Now, according to sources, this group is completely different from the one in custody currently and a second FIR could be filed in the case as in the earlier case, this group too sold information to energy companies. So this is the latest coming in. Uh, another FIR has been lodged. The crime branch has uncovered yet another case of crucial official documents being stolen this time from the Petroleum Ministry. Again, let me get in Kamaljeet Kaur Sandhu, who's been tracking details uh, related to this case. Uh, Kamal, for this particular uh, group uh, that was again leaking information to select uh, companies, where has the lead come from to the police? Well, the corporate espionage case, Maha, has turned out to be a bigger case. Uh, the IB had given inputs on not just about this particular case, but also about uh, suspects in various other ministries. Uh, but this is obviously the second group. The crime branch and the Delhi police has been on the case since January. Uh, now, hundreds of telephone uh, calls have been recorded. Uh, they have been on the line. So, in that sense, uh, in the intercepts also, they could be made very clear uh, that there is only not one group which is working in Shastri Bhavan. Uh, there are obviously the other groups also uh, the petroleum ministry obviously being very very important uh, ahead of the budget session this kind of come uh, expose really coming in uh, this is something uh, which is not really surprised many people uh, as a matter of fact people say uh, that there have been corporates and there have been lower level officials as well as peons who've had access uh, the fact remains that uh, once the cctv was installed uh, the activities which were found to be suspicious was not just a one particular group but also another group now this group is headed by Lokesh. Uh, his questioning is being done and obviously a second FIR is likely to be uh, registered by the Delhi police. Uh, but more information is coming in and yes, uh, this also means that the government offices uh, can be broken into uh, the files which are known as the official secret uh, files. Uh, this is something uh, which could be a worrying okay. factor. And now that this has been exposed and obviously Delhi police is on it, we can expect a stormy session in the parliament with many obviously raising mm -hmm. the question as to why this expose really happened ahead Naturally. of the budget session and what was really done. And why is the big fishes uh, not being involved in this? Why are not big corporates being arrested? Kamal, you're telling us that one person, Lokesh, has been identified as being part of this group. Have any other names surfaced uh, in this particular group, the second group that we're talking about now? Uh, well, Maha, at this point of time, 12 people have been arrested and obviously Shantanu Saikia making that very important statement that 10,000 crore rupees uh, were part of this particular scam and this needs to be exposed. But the other part is obviously uh, where uh, peons uh, as, as uh, Lokesh himself uh, had access and obviously they made duplicate keys. Uh, the modus operandi was very clear uh, that they were providing files. Now, the five names of the corporates are very much known. Uh, there is a statement which has come in from the corporate offices of the RIL, the ADAG as well as the SR group. Uh, the fact remains there have been raids which have been conducted uh, but Lokesh will also give in inputs as to which other corporates have been involved okay. and if this scam it turns out to be bigger. Uh, remember there could be more energy firms which can be named and obviously this entire expose about how uh, low level PNs had access to major files and how this really was benefiting some of the energy firms.